Greetings, Brian Terrian here with some information about disability reviews, continuing disability reviews. There's some questions that are starting to become more frequent um, on our YouTube channel, and so I'm going to answer those today, like when are they reviewed, how do you know, does age make a difference, those types of things. So first of all, just some general information about the continuing disability reviews. During the COVID uh, process, they were suspended. Um, I don't, you know, it was officially suspended, and so now I am, we're being contacted by people that are starting to get the reviews done, so they are happening again. So I just want to create some awareness for you to make you understand, or help you understand that it is a real deal. Um, the number of reviews, if you look at the termination rate, increased over the period. A lot of these come from uh, continuing disability reviews, so you'll see that the rate has continued to go up. Um, so it's something to be aware of. Everybody is subject to a review, and one of the questions is how often are you reviewed and, and how do you know? So this is a segment of a disability award letter, and when you're approved for disability, uh, if you were approved at the initial reconsideration stage, you received just your award letter. And in that award letter, it's going to have a section, it should have a section called Things to Remember for the Future. Doctors and other trained staff, blah, 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 says, and this one is going to be reviewed every three years. So if you went to a disability hearing, you would have a decision letter. It would say at the top, disability decision. At the very, very top, under the Social Security Disability Benefit Notice, it would say decision. But it's not in that one. It's in the one that says award. So you want to look for your award letter and then uh, scroll down. And that will give you an idea when you are going to be subject to a disability review. Um, so. Below this video, I will put a link to this reviewing your disability. Now, one of the other uh, questions, I'm kind of answering these on the fly, was uh, does age matter um, in, in doing this? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with yes. And the reason is what you need to prove um, to get your disability is the same criteria for what you need to understand and have in place to keep your benefits and the review process is the same. So that general um, criteria is that you have conditions, they're being treated by a doctor and those conditions prevent you from doing any job if you're under, under 50 typically or perhaps your career type of work that you've done for the last 15 years if you're over 50. So if you have the conditions and they're not being treated, that's one of the number one problems you need to be aware of that. Um, so and when you look at it, the structure of the process is the same. They have, you know, an initial communication and reconsideration, hearing, appeals council, federal court. So this is not giving you the details on like what to do with each step. We are actually going to be releasing that um, here in the near future. So in advance, stay tuned to your email if you're a member of your communication or if you're watching this out on YouTube, just stay tuned to what's going on on the channel. So I'm going to jump back over here to the questions. Um, they're supposed to take place every three to five years. That's good news. I was 56 when I was approved. I'll be 58. So think about it this way as far as the frequency of the re reviews and the likelihood of it if you're somebody that is you know in in their mid 60s and you've been on social security disability benefits and when you reach full retirement age it's basically the same benefit package anyway your likelihood from that financial concept in my opinion is going to be a lot less uh, likelihood that you'll be reviewed than it would be that's somebody that is, um, you know, in their 30s or 40s and has been approved for disability because Social Security is looking at it and saying, oh, my God, i got to pay for another 25 years of benefits. Let's review and see what's going on. So it, despite that, we've seen them issued 
uh, to people across all age ranges. So I think the issuing still is going to be there, the likelihood of it having some challenges and getting on to the higher levels. Um, maybe more if you are younger, especially if you are not seeing your doctor. So that's the answer to these two questions today. Uh, look for your award letter um, to determine when you're going to be reviewed. If you don't have it, you have to contact Social Security. Um, and yes, age does matter in my opinion, just like trying to get somebody approved for disability. So thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> it's been Brian from the Disability Digest. We give you the big picture here with these videos. If you need more detailed or specific assistance, make sure you contact us or join us as a member at thedisabilitydigest.com. Make it a great day. Thank you.